Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at E Trailer, and today we'll be taking a look at our Kelty Stub Fanny Pack. This is a one liter small but compact fanny pack. We'll take a look at those different features and different specs right here at eTrailer.com. So I've actually used a lot of fanny packs. Um, my dad's been wearing a fanny pack for about 30 years. It's been very helpful when you have different situations. We have different options here at eTrailer when it comes to the size as well as colors of those fanny packs. You can get them as small as one liter and as big as five liters. So this is gonna be your smaller size, perfect for let's say your day-to-day -day activities. When I've gone backpacking in different countries, I would put my spare money or my change, my commute money right there because it's easily accessible, but it's also safe on my person. So this is gonna be great for your everyday essentials, especially since you can use this in conjunction with your larger bags or your larger packs. Like you can't be reaching into your large hiking pack every time you need to grab your phone. So this is a perfect place to store it where it's big enough to carry even my large phone, but small enough to stay out of the way. So this pack is deceptively spacious. So let's take some measurements to see exactly how much space this takes up. So in terms of length, it's gonna be eight and a half inches long. And then in terms of height, it's gonna be over five inches tall. For your depth, I'd like to say it's two inches deep. I can even widen it out to almost three inches. So even with our really bulky tape measure, I can fit this around and still have plenty of space, especially in the front pocket too. So we have a front side or diagonal zippered pocket. This is pretty small, but this is perfect for your wallets, your coins, or your cash. And then you have your larger pockets. So you have space here for your larger items like the tape measure I showed earlier. You also have this elastic pocket which is perfect for your phone. And inside that elastic pocket we also have this clip for your keys. This way you can secure your keys to that clip and then keep that stored inside of your pack. You also have this strap on top just for if you're carrying it on your own. In fact, I would actually use it a little bit like a purse. If I need to grab it real quick, then I just walk around like this before strapping it to my body. Speaking of strapping to the body, we have this really nice buckle. It's not an oversized buckle, but perfect for the size of the pack itself. You also have adjustment points on each side. So once you get it around your waist or your body, you just pull on those straps and that tightens it down easily. We also have our elastic band on the strap and that's gonna be where your extra strap is gonna go so it doesn't just swing around. So you have a good amount of strap length there. So enough that you can use this as a crossbody sling. Let's say you're tired of wearing it around your waist. You can just put this over your body. Not as useful of a position compared to when you have the larger fanny packs, but still a nice option for when you need to. Compared to some of the other fanny packs I've had to deal with, I'm pretty impressed by the construction of this one. Notice how this folds over just to cover that zipper and keep that dirt and grime out of the way. The zipper itself is really strong and reliable. I haven't noticed it getting caught up in the material at all. And even inside of the zipper, you have it where the seams are double stitched and you have reinforced seams too. Everything working together to make sure that your items are protected on inside and not falling out. The material is gonna be made of a 600D polyester construction. And that means that it's gonna be strong and durable, but you also have two layers of material on the inside and then the one on the outside. And why is that information important? Well, if you are traveling around, especially in sketchy situations, you wanna be conscious of your valuables. It's nice to keep them on you because then people can't grab it off of you, but you also wanna make sure it's not easy for people just to cut that open and grab whatever falls out. So you have different options when it comes to sizes as well as colors. So some color options for this is gonna be orange or navy blue, which is what I have here. You can also get this with lavender and beige, or I believe blue and tan. 
For size options, as you can see, this is the one liter bag. So pretty compact. You can get this as large as five liters. This is the Kelty Sunny. You can get a mid-sized bag, which is gonna be a three liter fanny pack. So it definitely depends on what type of situation you are gonna be in and what's the best fanny pack for you. I personally would prefer this since it's smaller and great for day to day. But for my larger projects, I'd go ahead and grab the Sunny. I am actually highly interested in getting one for myself, especially for day-to-day -day activities or in pairing with my bigger hiking pack. That's because it's deceptively spacious. Even for my larger measuring tape, it was able to fit and I have a larger phone. It fits perfectly well in here. Now, when you're out hiking, you're also limited or let's say out adventuring, camping, even visiting the market. Sometimes you're limited in terms of storage options. Maybe you don't want to carry a purse around all the time. I'm wearing cargo pants right now, but sometimes my pants don't have pockets. This is a great and easy way to keep all my valuables close to me but still easily accessible and that was a look right here at our kelty stub one liter fanny pack here at eTrailer.com. my name is evangeline and i hope you enjoyed the journey